So we just go back to uh, our product backlog. And yeah, you can see the estimates starting 14 the whole year. So yeah, after all, um, this is uh, part, this is the last um, piece of um, action in, in, in the sprint planning. So we just going to start our sprint. So we click on this blue button and say start sprint if all the team agree. So we have our sprint name. We have our time from 17 to April 1st. We have our sprint goal and it's telling us we have 11 working days. So if, if everything, uh, everybody is, is uh, uh, agree with that. So we just start the sprint and we click on this start and that's our sprint board. So, um, so various, People working on various items, we start to um, to um, to carry out their their task. For example, that, but do, that's this that's not uh, part of what we're doing today. We finish for um, the story pointing. So the the tester or the developer will come to create uh, his own task and say develop developing, and then the tester to And then the U, U, UX, UX, okay, is, is UI. So anyone working on it, designer. designer. So that's, so these are the subtitles that are created. Those are things, those are the items that will now continue to move in progress. There's a way too that we can customize this board, but that's not part of the topic today. And then when all of them are done, the developer has developed the UX as, as UX, and then the tester has tested, then the story can now be updated and be closed. So uh, we are going to leave I am Jira um, at that. That's uh, just what we have today. Thank you, everyone. So I'll quickly run to um, the other aspect of it, which is Azure. Devolve. Hope we are still good on time. So for Azure Devolve, uh, uh, um, both tools, if you know how to use Jira, definitely when you get your hands on Azure Devolve, one, uh, one, one way or the other, you'll be able to walk around with the experience you have with Jira. The same thing with you, if you know uh, Azure Devolve, and then also Riley and Basho One, they are commonly the same. So if you know one very well or to a certain level, if you get your hands on the, on the other one, uh, you should be able to. So, but that's what we uh, we, we teach in uh, Greater Agile, how um, all these tools can effectively be used. So for Azure DevOps, this is our, this our um, uh, backlog, you can see backlog, for those who have seen it before, I'm sorry if um, it's kind of rushed. I'm sure maybe some people have not uh, used this before. It might look a little bit confusing. I don't know how to go about that, except, because, yeah, just, um, you can just get your hands on, or can uh, maybe contact me later if you want so, so um, um, some, Training, yeah. So this is the backlog for um, also we have created we have created a we have created a a um, a project. You can see uh, this is this is our our one that we use in our industry, and we have working we are working on different different pro pro products that will soon be going live. So this is a project that we've created for for this particular purpose, and then. We uh, go to the backlog, and then these are the backlog items that have been uh, created to work with here. So for just the same way, all the all the as all the other aspect of sprint planning we carried out is just the estimation that is different. Um, not the estimation, the tools that are different, but the same way um, 
we have done uh, done in Jura, it's done in Azure DevOps. So for Azure DevOps, you are the uh, you are the backlog now, and then so the uh, we say um, the tax uh, or the tickets. This uh, call it PB high here. They are called PB high. Uh, they, they move from from Epic from Epic to um, Future to Future to to PB uh, PBI is is the same thing as story in in in, in Jira. So these are the PBIs for this. So for you can see the spring uh, the spring bucket I opened here. We have sprint one, sprint two, sprint three. Sprint one has been dated for us, which is um, excuse me, please. Sprint one is um. Starting on the 16th and is closing, uh, finishing on the 21st, which is uh, for spring. So, in Azure DevOps, um, what what is what we do is um, we click and drag. So you drag the items that you that you are that you have refined. So you have refined and they're ready to go for sprint. You drag them to the sprint. That's maybe that's one. That's the second one. That's the third one. That's the fourth one. So when that uh, when when you when you've done that, you now go to estimate. Once again, to get this estimate is uh, doesn't come readily with uh, with Azure DevOps. You need to go to what we call Azure Marketplace. So just click on this um, uh, bug like uh, icon and say. Uh, Browse market. So in the markets, you also, uh, if you know that you are looking for estimates, you you type your estimates and then. So various tools for estimation come. You click on the one that you you want, and then you you ask, you you install it, and then you use it for your estimation. So. That's how uh, that one is got here. So you click on, haven't um, opened the spring bucket and then we'll do that, you know. Sorry. So you click on this estimate and um, and then um, if you click on the estimate, you now create a new session, a new session, maybe title. So let's title it landing page as well. Um, just um, to go with the flow, landing page. And it's done online. And um, my team, please start to log in as well. Again, thank you for all the work. <laughs> and we are working on, uh, it's, it's a sprint and my team is, um, expert agile demo team, and our sprint is sprint one. And again, here you are, we have a choice of cards that we can use. So we have so many. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight of them. We have teacher sizing as well. We have Fibonacci sequence. Where one we have from other custom made one, but this is one uh, we normally use. It is Fibonacci sequence. So we click on this. So give us that Fibonacci sequence, and then I'll create the I'll create the set the section again. So create, and then I will now click on once it's created, it appears here. I will now click on this landing page, which is the title of, and then our ticket to be estimated will appear here. So so what we now do is um, again we click on each one. They open up for us, and uh, my teams have started to log in. Um, I can see Casey is logged in. So we now start to vote again, just the way we voted in, in Jira. So I um, don't want us to waste a lot of time here, because it's almost the same process, just, um, just different tools. If Casey is ready, she can just vote, and then we carry on. Okay, anyone that is on it can just vote, please. Thank you.
Right. So please just vote so that because of time, we don't. Yeah, so you can see again, vote and uh, vote are not shown. They are unanimous. So that um, for example, again, why it's unanimous, we don't want anybody to be influenced by anybody. We are seen in some, we are seen in some team when uh, when the lead QA or the lead developer vote. Every other developer tend to follow um, the vote of the QA when, uh, when we are in a um, um, physical meeting. So to avoid that, the votes are not shown. Everybody votes um, unanimously, and then we all um, reveal the vote afterwards. It's going to reveal now. And then, like again, we have 533. It's like my, my people, they really like 5 and 3, which, which is good. And then just because of our time, we go for uh, five. I, I believe uh, we have explained the, the, the dynamics that can happen to get us to vote, uh, to, uh, to have the same vote. Um, basically, it's, see, as it's open here, the, the PO comes in again and say, okay, look at the story. This is what this is, given when, 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 and all this, how can you uh, develop this? When can you, uh, what's that, what, what's it, what are the, techni the, the technicalities in this compared to the ones we've done before. Everybody look at it back and front, the UX, UI, the test start, everybody. So based on that, we now um, uh, we now vote. So let us assume it's five year, we save. Is that save? It goes. <laughs> so this next one, let's see. Can we vote for the next one as well? Thank you, blessing. Thank you. Maybe because we already have three as the estimate there. So we just review. So we have three, five, 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 three, three, five, three, five, three. Five, three. Just because of our time, we don't want to go back and forth, back and forth again to arrive at um, uniform, uniformity. So we just take the upper, upper line limit, which is five. And it's saved. You can see it there. It goes, it jumps straight to the next one, which is this. Uh, just keep on voting, guys. Your votes, your votes will not be rigged. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, somebody has been raising up their hand, but I think this uh, just said that we can leave questions till the end of the uh, meeting, unless maybe you're not hearing. Suleiman is raising up his hand. Okay, we just reveal huh? every time. You know, somebody that, okay, we'll go for five again. <laughs> yeah, so the next one again, we to have vote this time around. <laughs> Right, binary vote, blessing, can't see your vote yet. Emmanuel, please, our PO, everybody. Yes, so we just review and um, uh -huh, almost there. <laughs> still, still, there's still a five, five person. <laughs> okay, we just go for five here because of our time and then we save. So that's in this case now, all done. We now uh, just say leave session. You can leave it or you can end the session entirely. Somebody is um, somebody is painting my. Um, <laughs> thank you for painting our um, uh, board. So, so the the difference between Jira and Azure DevOps now is that uh, okay, we, they they have the backlog uh, bucket that they. The sprint now opens by the time you come to spring.